about a month ago, we bought a house and now we are moving. So, where are we? We're at Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park World. Yeah, that's our world. You're at the land. Yesterday we had a guy come out and do a little bit of forestry mulching. It's really cool to watch. And then today I bush hog. I know out of nowhere the difference a day makes. Yesterday she needed a little help. Today she hopped on it by herself, started pedaling, didn't need any of our help, was zipping and zooming. I'm recording the dino. Okay. And I'm recording everything. I'm trying to take pictures of those. Yeah. There's trees, the dinosaur, the Oh, are you vlogging? Yeah, like this. Yeah. Like you are. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get the dinosaur closer, but they're very not the being still. And then I'm trying to do it again and again and. It won't be still. Well, dinos are unpredictable, aren't they? We came out to the land today. PJ's over there, bush hogging. He's so far cleared all of this space up on our land, places that have not been mowed in over a year. So it's weird to walk the land and to be able to walk on the different places that we haven't been able to walk on before. So PJ also set up um, this guy to come out here and clear out all of these trees. So this whole forest line, you couldn't even walk through before. And now you can see through, there's still quite a bit more to do and he's not finished yet. So um, yeah, so, so many cool things are happening out here at the land courtesy of PJ. So we've kind of been getting back into that routine where I'll stay home with the kiddos, do the schooling, um, take care of the house and the animals. And then PJ will come out here and work on our land. He has been mowing and bush hogging nonstop, which has been so nice because then in turn, we can all come out here as a family and enjoy it and roam and visit parts of the land that we have never been to before. So I will say it is challenging. This, this season in our life is very challenging right now. Um, I'm sure as it is for, for so many people, it's just such a balancing act, I think, that so many people are having to deal with and adjust to. So there's like homeschool and you're cooking more and you are working from home. So it's like all of these things that would normally be spaced out and you would normally get some kind of break, you, you're not getting. Um, so if you're a parent or if you're working from home, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're going through that, just know that you're not alone and we are sending you so much love. Give yourself a little grace. Give yourself some time and some patience right there with you me and pj both are um but yeah it's just strange times that we're we're living in
can't see your cute face. I can't. Today should be the last day that we have to look at this little cottage with multiple paint colors on it because the painters have started prepping and it should hopefully be all that dark green color today. I just stopped by the cottage because today the plumber is completely finished. So the plumbing is finished and the painters are here to get started on the exterior of the house. Thomas and I started it, but then we decided that we did not want to do it because of the higher areas and the shingles are really hard to paint. So they're gonna come and hopefully have it painted today. We shall see. I'll keep you posted. The inside of this is basically finished and it is looking so good. Now I'm going to Lowe's to buy a chainsaw because I want to start cutting down some trees to make way for the 600 trees that I bought. It's a good day. Now we're going on a camp. That's right. Well, we're, not, we're gonna have a fire. Okay. We're not gonna camp out here tonight though. Maybe tomorrow? <laughs> Um, I don't know about tomorrow either. It is a beautiful, beautiful fall night out here at the land. And PJ had a great idea. He said that we should come out and do hot dogs and s'mores and make a fire. So that's what we're doing right now. I have never made a fire before. That is PJ's job, but he is bush hogging currently. So I am going to do it. I'm gonna attempt it. I don't know how it's gonna go but the kids are running around. They're hungry, I'm hungry. So let's get this fire started. All right, so I have it built. It's definitely not the prettiest fire that you've ever seen. PJ, I need your help, <laughs> but it should do. Hopefully it'll get the job done. Okay, so it's kind of working. Kind of have a fire going. Well, it's just the hay right now, but. Okay, older brother is so excited right now because we do have a fire. And PJ packed us some hot dogs, so I'm gonna attempt to roast some hot dogs as well. I say attempt and try and all of these words because I have literally never done any of this stuff. PJ's always been the one to kind of take control and do it, but it's kind of fun. Taking over and, and doing what I can. So let's eat. And he's here. Uh huh. It's showing up weird on camera, but in real life, it's a lot darker right now. Yeah, it's kind of brighter on camera and kind of fuzzy. Right now it's, it's a really pretty dark. That's kind of more, oh, what it looks like. Hmm? No, this one's for you. Wow, after you can eat that one.
Finally, 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 Peter's putting up Christmas decorations. Well, you know what? I say finally. Most people don't even decorate until December. It's the middle of November. But for us, this is pretty late because normally these go up the day after Halloween. Yes. But <laughs> this year has been a little different. It's been different. How about that for different? Jesus. It's been different for everyone. And so... Yeah, we're late this year. What else? What else can you do? Kiddos so, are in bed. Some of these are not working. Oh crap! We used to do a real tree, and then for the last like three years, we've done PJ's. Um, we've never done a real tree. Well, okay, we did one one time <laughs> at our last house. <laughs> we both grew up. Listen, we both grew up doing real trees, but as we've gotten older, it's just so much easier to do these and then just buy a friggin' plug-in, Fraser fur plug-in, and call it a day. Am I right? Okay. What? Yikes. So this morning, I. <clears throat> okay. This morning, I woke up at. 4 a.m. to take little brother to the hospital because he had a dental procedure done. He is the last of the kiddos to have this done. Um, whenever we first got them, they all had to have dental procedures done. My older brother was first, then little sis, and now little brother is finished. So I woke him up this morning. He was so tired. He was trying to stay awake on the way to the hospital. And he was such a trooper though. And thanks, Julie. And uh, he did so well. He was very out of it when they gave him the silly, silly, what is that, silly gas? No, they gave him a shot. Well, they, no, they put it in his mouth. Oh, I and it know. tasted good. I don't know. They, they gave him some kind of medicine to make him loopy. And he was so sad, but so cute. And um, he did really well. So. The good thing is that all of the kiddos are finished. No more dentist stuff for now. Um, they're probably gonna all have braces though, but that'll be later. So it's been a long day. I'm tired. We just got back from the land also. Let's hope that that worked. Please. What'd you do? Finish the fuse. But I haven't done it once. On one set, it didn't do anything. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, this is also the first. So remember whenever we switched the um, living room around? Normally this tree is in our front room, but this year it's in our living room and I am loving the way that it feels in here already. I didn't even decorate it yet. Oh, hello. This I think we'll leave it just like that. <laughs> a little ombre tree. Is it so it's broken? Yeah, we're just gonna have to add a set. <clears throat> there you go. I'm gonna let her shine, let her shine, let her shine, let her shine. Let her shine. Yeah. We put our tree up a few days ago, two days ago maybe, and I am putting on all of the um, like stringy stuff so that the kids can put on the oh non-breakable ornaments. So everyone just woke up. We are getting warm and cozy in our Santa suits. Sis can't see. The beads? Weren't they in bags? Where are you going?
Every year, people comment on how early we decorate. And I think most people don't start decorating until at least December. However, this year I have noticed that people are decorating earlier and earlier in an attempt to like spread more holiday cheer because 2020 could use more cheer. But still, we are kind of getting a late start for us. Um, we normally like to enjoy our Christmas decorations for two months. This year is only gonna be about a month and a half, but better late for us than never. came over to the cottage and they have painted it and it is so pretty. It looks like they're not quite finished though. So I brought my Mammal Hammond, my mom, my Aunt Lisa, and my little sister Montana over to see the cottage. <laughs> so we're out here at the land. My brother came to help us move our furniture. And I think we should clarify what exactly PJ meant by when he said we're moving. Do you want to clarify? So we are moving to a holiday house. Our neighbors at the land decided to sell their house. And so we bought their house maybe three weeks ago and they are moving out today. So that means we are moving in. This is going to be a house that we use on weekends while we renovate this building because yeah. this is going to be our future home. We had mentioned- Ooh, what a bold statement. Are we officially making that statement? Yeah, we have, we've been back and forth on what we were gonna do with this. It was gonna be a venue at one point and we just love the land so much and we have fallen in love with the land so much that we are committing. And the reason why I say we are committing is because we already bought 50 windows and all of the doors to renovate this building. So let's take a look at some of the windows. They still have uh, tape on them, so the color you're seeing is not the real color. It's, it's really pretty sage green. But we did some uh, casement windows. Look how massive some of these windows are. Here, here's the one. It goes that way. Mm -hmm, yeah, and it's then, turned on its side right now. Um, and then we have all these windows back here. The only, re the only way that we were able to purchase these windows was because they were very marked down. They were very expensive windows, but they were marked down even more. I would say it's safe to say that they were probably like 60 or 70% off what you, we would have paid if we had bought them off. Oh, here's a good example of color. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the color. And look how they open. So there's a lever on this inside. And you just pull the lever and then it's the So open. cute. We want the uh, house to have a very European feel. And so we knew that the types of windows that we ultimately wanted were gonna be out of our price range. And it just randomly happened that we found them on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, PJ did his some digging and some researching and he found these. We want, like PJ said, we want the, the house to have a very European, almost like chateau-y, chateau-ish, what's the word? Chateau-like feeling. And these windows convey that to us. So this is the front door. This is a French door, but it opens with two handles. Yeah, it's also on its side. So yeah. So yeah, we are moving into the cottage. We are still keeping our house in town. And the cottage that we're moving into is also going to be an Airbnb. Eventually. Not sure when. PJ just got the text saying that the homeowners that we're purchasing the house from, that we purchased. Oh yeah, that's right. What am I saying? 
that we purchased the house from have officially moved out. So we can officially start moving our furniture in. We are so excited. We haven't spoken much about this until we didn't want to jinx anything until it was for sure a for sure thing. But now that the cat is out of the bag, we are more than excited. I feel like this is going to be such an exciting, I don't know, new chapter kind of in our life. Start of something great. So here we go. What do you guys think? I think it's gray. You think it's gray? Yeah. I do too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah guys, they look at they left some toys for you. So the floor is like the, what is it when it's those square tiles that are different? Par, um, parquet. I want to say parquet, but it's not, it's not. It's uh, I think that's what it is. that they did back in like parquet the 60s floors. and 70s. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Oh. If that's underneath, that's what we'll do. Cute. So this is the main living room. Oh, it's throughout the whole house. Wait, how do we rip it up and see real quick? I'm not even in the bedroom. Thank <laughs> you. 